Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dane Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm in Cibolo, Texas in the Saddle Creek subdivision. And today we're gonna look at a pre-existing home that a client of my teammate, Julie's, he's getting ready to PCS from Hawaii and he's excited about being stationed here, but he's home shopping and we're looking at this house behind us. It's built by Armadillo Homes in 2015. It is almost 3,000 square feet. Let's go check it out. This is a beautiful home. I do like this subdivision. It's very military friendly subdivision. It is right off 1103. It does get a little traffic congested coming from 1103 getting onto I-35, but the city of Cibolo is working on that. Speaking of Cibolo, I absolutely love the downtown Cibolo area as far as like the old main, the wine house, the 1908 wine bar a lot of great things to do here in Cibolo, Texas. Anyways, the as of 2 December 2021, the seller is asking 389k and $900. Might as well just say 390k. All right, let's go check out the inside, but I do want to talk about this balcony. Uh Armadillo is one of the few homes I know Castle Rock also does these. I really really like them. So few builders do it because what I've been told they're a pain in the butt to keep from uh, leaking everywhere. But uh, I really like it. Gives you the ability to drink a little coffee in the morning. But uh, let's go check out the inside of this beautiful home. All right, going inside, you can, well, you can see they've got some nice rock out here. Love this door. Door handles been banged up a little bit, but those can be easily replaced. Don't let that uh, be a deal breaker. You do have wood floors in here. It's like the you little dust, little cleaning there. But like I said, this house was built in 2015, so it is seven years old. And, uh, sorry, this light wasn't working, so I couldn't get it turned on. This is a really nice office. This house has been lived in, so there is gonna be some things that need to be cleaned up some, particularly some touch-up paint, some little stains on the carpet there. And, I always tell you the good with the bad. There is a little bit of a pet smell in here, but once again, don't let that be a deal breaker. We do have a really nice formal dining room set up. Lots of space in there. Right up front, we also have coming, after you come in from the garage, your little extra place to store stuff, your mud room, Perfect if you got kids and backpacks, put some shoes up there. Let's go check out this garage. Oh, let me hit the lights for it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a big two car garage, but it is a two car garage and it does have a water softener. If you're looking to, if these guys do make a move on this house, definitely make sure if that water softener is owned by the seller or if it's being leased. I do like the fact that this is a pretty big upgrade carrying that same rock from the front side of the house inside, putting this little facade up on the island. That's a pretty nice upgrade. And it's a beautiful island with the, I believe that's Venetian granite. We got the dark cabinets. Have to look on the MLS to see if that refrigerator is included, but being as the house is empty and it's still there, it probably is. Nice, just your typical corner cabinet. Definitely nice little backsplash here. Checking to see if there's any undermount lighting. That would go a long way for dressing this up. Just your typical Frigidaire appliances, nothing special. It is electric, so I haven't seen gas. Not a true 50-50 sink. You should be able to get pretty close in that one. But man, dressing up, changing out that faucet would go a long way too. But notice this spigot here, that's your designated water softener. So you have uh, two options. You can get your, uh, not water softener, water filter. You can get your filtered water right from there or from the refrigerator. So it's always nice to have even more filtered water options. A little panoramic of the main living space. Showing you the lots of space here. Then we're gonna go upstairs in just a second. But so many houses have fireplaces. I'm not a big fan of fireplaces. I mean, so seldomly do we have those big 
winter storms where fireplace is needed. But you lose the wall space. So if you wanted to have a big TV entertainment center, you have that in this house. To where you can go as big as you want, shoot, you could hang a, put a projector up there, hang it down a little bit and make that a whole entertainment space. All right, let's go check out this back living space here. They do have a shed already. Now, definitely got to point out this because my guys, if they were coming PCSing in, some people having the power lines right behind the house is a deal breaker or and some people don't care about it. So you always want to point that out. So they get a great representation of what this house is. You know what? I have that exact same shed in my house. Obviously it's painted different, but very good use of a shed. And if these guys, if the guys PCSing in from Hawaii did have dogs, they've already got a dog run or a little place to put them up at. But yes, you can see they've got dogs that have been chewing at some stuff. But those are repairs you can request be made. And those are simple repairs too. All right, let's head upstairs. Loving the wrought iron, like always. Now this upstairs place is perfect. If you've got uh, little ones, if you wanna have, hey, this is kid world up here, because there's a big like loft area, lots of room. Now, if you wanna make this a game room or something, put a pool table, anything you can. But as I mentioned earlier, this upstairs loft, this upstairs balcony, super cool. Perfect for, like I said, that morning coffee, sitting out here, watching neighbors go walking by. It's kind of nice. Like I said, this is a nice neighborhood. All right. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. There does need to be some paint touch-ups done. But like I said, this, if you weren't a fan of the beige, I know so much people now are into like paint color, like agreeable gray. It's not that expensive to just have the whole fresh coat of paint put on. And what that'll do is also get rid of that dog smell too. All right, this is one of the bedrooms upstairs, which is really big. So I can get back in the corner and kind of show you just how big this bedroom is. This is a big room upstairs. Gonna have a good sized closet. Like I said, a little mini walk-in closet. It's gonna have its own vanity. Hey guys. And it's gonna have a Jack and Jill bathroom with plenty of space leading into the other bedroom. And they'll have their own vanity, which, there we go. With their own even bigger mini walk-in closet, but the bedroom itself is not gonna be as big as that first one we went through. So, depends on what you want. And we do have another bathroom up here. So if you had this as a game room, your guests wouldn't have to go into the kids' bathroom because nobody wants to do that. But there's another full bath up here and a whole nother bedroom. So you got three bedrooms total upstairs. This one's not gonna have the giant closet. It's just a closet. All right, that's the upstairs area. Let me give you a little once around. So there's one bedroom back that way, another bedroom right off that direction, and then this big game room space with a full bath and the third room. And a little nook here you can hang over the side 
and uh, see what's going on down there. All right, let's head on downstairs and check out that uh, master bedroom. All right, we're back downstairs, and we've got the formal dining room there, the nice kitchen, your living room space where you're gonna put that giant TV on this big flat wall. And then you got your bedroom tucked off to the side. Nice tray ceilings. Plenty of space in this bedroom. With good side windows. Let's see, did I not get these lights turned on? There we go. All right, you're gonna have two vanities to be shared with. You can definitely do some little updated light fixtures there. But man, check out this walk-in shower. This is a big mud inset shower, so you can come in right here. I go one inch step down, and you got a big shower, with a little built-in cubby there. And of course, a little shelf for leg shaving. Just your water closet we just went by, but the master bedroom closet is something everybody needs to see. So yeah, if you do have a good size master bedroom closet, you can easily say this is one person's side here, and then this is the other side. And like I said, more stuff, more painting and touch up. So yeah, nothing looks too dramatic. Nothing that you can't be fixed with a fresh coat of paint, fixing up some trim boards. Then again, I'm not a home inspector. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing right now. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this pre-existing home that's on the market as of 2 December, 2021 built by Armadillo in 2015. This is for my clients. If they pass on it, we'll make it public. But if not, hey, we're, you'd have to move pretty quickly because our market has gone nuts. And if you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing with your friends and family. And also remember, it costs you nothing to use a real estate agent to buy a property. The seller pays for that. So don't hesitate to call us. We'll be willing to help. All right, take care for now. Bye.